All right, folks, I've got the cameras in 8.30. Y'all are about to get a ride along with Derek in here. I don't think you're, well, I've got it set once he sits back in the seat. I don't think you're going to see him or anything. I don't know if he'll talk or not. We'll see. So y'all just enjoy the ride along. It's the view y'all going to get right here. All right, what we're doing right here, cutting out a little corner. Uh, we're going to do a Anytime a pine tree or hardwood trees cannot grow in a uniform uh, stand uh, and they're like growing like this, they're, they're going to have a lot of limbs hanging off of them and that's just puffing. But that, uh, that gas line's down in, in that ditch right there. So we're going to run up inside this for a little bit and just just kind of trimming this up. I'm a little ways ahead of them anyway, so I can take my time with this. Not rush having Chad right here on the I can't go off into that ditch right there where I kind of dip down with the head. The gas line's a couple feet out of the ground. So I don't feel like being up on the ditch today. And I, and I like to make things look good, you know, I, I mean, the gas line, the gas guy uses this road, so I mean, I'll trim this up and make it look a little bit better for him, so none of that stuff will fall down, you know, block the road. That's 
Trucks turn around right there, and know Tim will be sitting right there, buddy. They got to come back around here. We had a band at this gig the other day. saw this you get you know, I've got a gauge up here too but a lot of times I was looking at the gauge when I saw this run back up to speed it's almost there. And it, it is nice on days like this when you do get a little heat. Hey, Kevin's been broke down so Chad has been breathing down my neck the last couple of weeks. I mean, it's been hard to get ahead of this job. It's been really bad. Uh, we've had to work this way a lot of uh, gas pumps, pads, vacuum pads, wells, I would say. And, and it's, you know, you got two or three different lines crisscross, and so uh, a couple of them are active, a couple of them are not. You know, even the ones that are not active, you got to take care of them. And, and it's tough. It's, uh, you know, and all this stuff I'm having to kind of show a little bit of a pad, set it up right. But you can see, they need to mark these lines a little bit better. You see that yellow paint right there on that tree? Right there. The yellow paint? That's the line. Uh, they went, they stopped really flagging like it used to. Now I'm running it on the app. You see, the app can be about five, seven feet off. So, you know, if you don't know where the lines are at, you better get off the wall. Because it can get costly buying some of those trees. Uh, and that would be on us if we didn't have to pay for it. Uh, so, yes, you don't want to cut over the line. And you have a mad land on the earth. Sometimes we, it has happened before, sometimes the lines are off. Uh, so, you know, we, we try to buy by the best we can. See, ideally, I should be throwing the tree straight in front of it and working my way out of the corner, but I mean, I got you know, this, this road and the gas line. Dude's gate right there. And, uh, so you just sometimes you just have to do things right opposite. And I know a lot of times people, you know, question, you know, like Tim's video, why, why is he coming in that way? Why is he coming this way? You know, a lot of times it's, there's a reason for the madness. You know, if you're videoing on the outside and you're looking at it, you're like, well, he should have thrown it that way. If I was running, I, I would have been with this one. Well, you got to work with what you got. You know, I mean, there, there's a line, there's a road, there's a gas line. So, I mean, you have to, sometimes you have to do things opposite of what you really want to do. You just make it work the best you can. You know, get a box of lemons, you make lemonade. You know, that. Build. 
that way, Chad come in here and y'all that up, and he will be searching for two or three more tools. It's only got two or three more trees in it. And it mess around and leave it. Best 
better off, right? Because I probably not. I mean, I, I, I probably, I mean, as far as running the machine, it could, you know, I, I and, and keep the, the job flowing like we need to and work to set up. I'm, I am really good at that. But, you know, we also, running the machine, you're also helping run a company. And I'm looking at how the best way to get the wood to the day, the flow to the day. You know, you deal with the, the text that come through from drivers or the work car and so on and so forth. You can constantly communicate. I take care of most of the ordering the parts, talking to Tad, lining them up. Kevin and him take care of the stuff that we gotta do. And that's kind of how we have it set up. And uh, so a lot of times you find yourself during the day, you're having breakdowns, you're having an easy, like today, I need to order a few parts for the dog cat. And uh, I'll spend a little bit of time taking care of that. So you can't always focus on the logging cutting like you need to. Like if we just had somebody hired just go out there and cut, cut, cut. Uh, you know, I've talked to Dad today, probably twice. Got him coming up here to the Great Road. We've had to communicate with, you know, the truck driver and Chad this morning. Because Kevin's been down, so we got all this kind of delay. We got a ton of wood stocked out right now at the other day. So, uh, it, it, you're constantly doing other stuff besides this one. It does take a lot of time, and a lot of it's mental stuff. You know, I'm constantly studying these maps. So, like right there, that's, that's what, I just got this one little street. There's going to be a gas line up here we're going to cross, but, you know, that's just the way it is. I've done it with our 726. She's also putting her head in the ground. a lot of force on that head and then fingers trying to you know, pick that chunk up off the joint. And it's really a lot of times not working. And, uh, and then you still can't get it set just like you want. So much stuff is in your feet. I should have cut this out the other day. A lot of times we're sitting here trying to get the set set so fast, you can only manage your 
bush hog so much. Kevin's way on it. Kevin's way on it. Kevin's way on it. Chad in it. I mean, all I've got to do is go. Everybody just has to make do. Jim will be slapping trees. They're trying to load. Kevin's don't have everything wide open. We've got Chad bringing tools in, trying to get Kevin going to the feed. A lot of times you just have to come back and wait time to get the stuff open. But it was an ideal situation that you could you can have so much time and that's the problem. We never have enough time. We never do today. And I'll just be honest with you, Gilbert, we didn't do it far enough. Uh, uh, I, I don't want to be out here far enough. 12 hours a day. I mean, if it takes us more than 12 hours a day to make it, we're doing something honest and I mean, there's a lot of in the past we've all mixed to. I mean, they're there. I can load an hour or two before daylight. And heck, a lot of times an hour after daylight, they still load. I do like going to town. We're all going to make it do. We're all going to make it do. 
on standby just, just for the simple fact the rough ground, wet ground, so on and so And then, you know, run it, run it only in that tight ground and bring it home and park it back in the shop. I just don't see that it And I think if, you, if, if we can make and improve all this, we as men will all in these fields. A lot of these meals might not make it good. Uh, I think you're going to see more of a transition of water going to track covers. Uh, you can gain a lot more cutting days, a lot more production. Uh, there's more pros than there is cones. Uh, the, one of the, there's two things I despise about the track cover. Is one, you know, you cannot track cannot start this morning running from the sun on the west side and then finish on the east side and hire to do it. You know, if you're bottom cutter off the road trying to run from the sun all day long. This, whatever you start, you got to keep working the way it's working. So, I mean, you're cutting the face of the sun, other than touching the highest of the trees, getting some shade. I mean, you just got to deal with it. On cow, but on whatever. Since the flags are. Anyway, so I, I don't like it the fact that you can't bounce around if you need to judge the move or you cut down this strip and all of a sudden we need to be running hardwood at the time and I've got hardwood two hills over. It takes me a little while to try to go with that. So you lose some of your speed on the map. The other thing I do not like is cutting out loader decks. Uh, loader decks are, are, are a tough thing to cut out. We try not to have so many loader decks. One reason we're running 635 is The other reason is every time we take a new loader deck, it takes so long, sometimes a half a day or better, to get readjusted to get the trucks to turn around get, get the get the the pile made where the trees are sliding and flowing easy to get you know the skitter get a pattern going with a, uh, a skid trail uh, matted out if you need to do. so you know a lot of times we choose to that's a bad but uh, a lot of times we choose See that dog was hitting me right there. I knew that thing was breaking out. But a lot of times we choose to uh, uh, just sit in one location a little longer because you know you've got to go back around and clean all this stuff up. And, I mean, you take a job that's 140 acres. I mean, you don't want 20 days on 140 acres. Some loggers see things a little bit different. But, yeah, we try to do more with less. You know, have less days, do more. And then, of course, the, the cutting out the motor said, you can grab a bunch of trees and drive fast forward and run over your gun for them. So a lot of times you find in every day, Somebody's asking me about the locks on the track cutter and cutting out a deck. I tell them the best thing to do is find the spot and just build a pile. And you let the skidder go either break the pile down or skid it around or get the skidder to hook to it, back it up, and piece of that. And that keeps you from tracking yourself so much. And, uh, and that's about the only thing you can do. Can all the way through that tree. Uh, I wouldn't throw that tree back. Get the bed. I cut it too deep. Saplings everywhere. Snakes is making the best today.
show, do you? I do, I could. But y'all see how far we're we to make it in there. It don't take long. It's not a lot of fools in there, but I mean, we're coming to get to the ground. Working our way down that line. And that line's going to hit a, a dead 10 inch gas line over here. And uh, I'm going to have to cross that dead line. We'll probably have to mat it up a little bit because we don't need to get her all the cutter. But it is a day of mine, and we do have permission to cross the beach. They have the man to come out. Probably will never use it again. But uh, we'll have to get the man to come out. Yeah, but we do have permission to cross the beach. We do have
get walking steam, steam. Now I need a good piece of meat to cut it off. Couple of track paths 
worst way to do. That's where they broke the track and put the new track uh, gearboxes in. Sometimes it's just like that. When you, you break something from the back and put it on what the devil does is we do what we have. A lot of times it's hard to get that stuff to work. It stays in this block. Yeah, see, I see it lit up. All right, right now look at look at the front right here of the camera. You see it flashing? Yeah. Right there, it's recording right huh. now. So that's all you do, and then that that'll turn off on the back. That'll turn off on the back, and so if you wanna you wanna stop it. Recording it, audio too, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So like when that light's flashing right there, you see that screen. It's rec it's recording right now what it's okay. doing. So. Uh, all right, yeah, see, I see it lit up. All right, right now look at look at the front right here <clears throat> of the camera. You see it flashing? Yeah. Right there, it's recording right huh. now. So that's all you do, and then that that'll turn off on the back. That'll turn off on the back, and so if you wanna you wanna stop it, just it recording it, audio too, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So like when that light's flashing right there, you see that screen? It's rec it's recording right now what it's okay. doing. So. Uh, <laughs> So I had a cottonwood bit that I was going to put on the end of this thing, but I, I just, I decided not to. I wasn't real sure how this was going to go. I didn't know if Derek was going to talk or not when I uh, put the camera in there. And I, I tried it one time a while back and one of my GoPros, uh, I, I didn't have anything on it. I mean, just the, the footage wasn't there when I, when I got it. I don't know what happened. Derek had one of the wrist remotes and everything and, it's kind of a, a ongoing problem with the GoPros that I've had and Jason has had and everything. And I hardly ever use a GoPro anymore. I just, I can't, they're just so aggravating for what they cost. But, um, Derek done good. I was proud of him. He, he did a, he did a good job. Uh, Derek stayed in the video, he'll be 40 this year. And, uh, the, the thing about it, you know, one thing about the YouTube stuff that, that I, I don't really like is like when people say stuff about, you know, my family, Derek or Kevin or even Chad or any, or dry or our drivers. Cause I, I mean, I include them as, you know, as a family and, but there's a thing about Derek that a lot of people, uh, don't know. Some do that are early followers. Uh, Derek has a, a thing called Crohn's disease and, uh, most people don't live up in their 30s that have Crohn's disease. And so Derek comes to the woods every day, whether he's hurting or not, and he crawls up in that cutter and he cuts trees down. And uh, the, the track cutter is by far the most difficult machine that I've ever worked to master running. And it was very difficult for us to figure it out too. It took a good little time. There's a, there's a heck of a learning curve on a uh, track cutter. It is a, uh, it is a different animal, different machine. If you've ever cut with a rubber tire cutter, you can forget. I don't care how good you are or you think you are, you can get on a track cutter and it don't help you at all. None whatsoever. But, uh, uh, there's more to this video. It's just I cut it here at 47 minutes. I didn't want it to at that part to go any longer, so I'm gonna make this quick. But there's more to this video. It goes on a lot longer. But uh, if y'all stay through all this, I appreciate y'all watching. I know Derek will be, I know Derek will be tickled to death with it. 
and I didn't cut nothing out of it. I let it, I watched the whole thing. I sit here and watched the entire thing all the way through. And um, there's some things that he said that's really funny that I'm going to go back and capture, you know, that I, that I like. But uh, we, uh, we're just a family man trying to make a living and we work hard. I'm telling you, we, we work freaking hard. So, uh, Again, appreciate y'all hanging in there watching. And uh, love all y'all. We'll catch y'all later. Later, taters.